and the masters of the universe. I am Adam. Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man at Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. for days, working on his new invention. Must be something really special. Just can't stand the suspense, huh? Of course I can. Doesn't bother me at all. Well, I'm glad to hear it, Orko. Man in arms! I is it finished? See for yourself. Wow! It's a horse! His name is Stridor. He has terrific strength and a computer system that can detect trouble quickly. The perfect companion for He-Man. I don't understand. Stridor's only supposed to do that to warn us of some danger. But there's no danger here. Uh-oh! We're heading straight for the palace. We've got to stop it. Quick, everyone, scatter! By the power of Grayskull! I've never seen anything like it before. I have. You must come to Castle Grayskull immediately. I will explain then. All right. One more thing. What I will tell you must remain absolutely secret. So you must come alone. The sorceress says I must come alone, but, hmm, a robot like Stridor might come in handy. Well, then take him, He-Man, with my best wishes and good luck. Thank you for coming, E-Man. The one responsible for the Wheel of Fire was called Morgoth the Terrible. Was he a sorcerer? Yes, once, a very long time ago. He sought to rule Eternia and the universe itself. He sought more power than any mortal should. He became a giant, immortal, with terrible powers. Just in time, the ancients cast him into a prison zone, a dimension from which there would be no return. Until now, that is. That is correct, He-Man. So, what's our first step? We must journey to Dark Mountain. For that, I must call up the Crystal of Alinar, which will allow me to use my powers 
and maintain my true form outside Castle Grayskull. And now, we must go to prepare for the coming of Morgoth. Not much left. How long will we have to wait? Until dawn. We must keep watch tonight, just in case. But Morgoth is set in his ways. He will come at dawn. The last time we fought, I was still new to the secrets of Grayskull, still learning. This time, he will find me a more experienced adversary. You mean you weren't always the sorceress? No, He-Man. Here, let me show you. Perhaps it will help us to pass the time more quickly. My name, then, was Tila Na. Our village of Noella was quiet, peaceful, but it would not remain that way long. For we did not know that Morgoth had broken through in secret, determined to conquer Eternia. But this time, he would have help. He betrayed our planet to an invading army, then terrorizing hundreds of worlds. <laughs> In less than an hour, we were all taken prisoner to await whatever the advance force might decide to do with us and Eternia. I say we notify the rest of the fleet now. Invade now, in force. Do you now? I must remind you that I summoned this scouting party, and what I say goes! What are they doing in there? Trust me, you don't want to know. Any more bright ideas? Good. Now perhaps we can discuss this more reasonably. Listen to those three. This is how they treat their own kind. We're lost. No. There is a way. There is the castle. <laughs> is that the best you can do? Tell me of the castle. Well, no one has been inside, but it is said that when the evil times come and a fighter for good is needed, the castle of Grayskull will open its great drawbridge. Well, I suspect the evil times have arrived. So, where can I find this castle you speak of? How did it go? In barren places, find ye hope. Where no water springs, no plant grows, no wind blows, find all you need. Sounds like the wasteland. That night, with the old man's help, I escaped from our captors. Hey! The prisoner's escaping! <coughs> Quick! We've got to go after her! No, you fool! If we do, the rest will escape too. Let the Wasteland have her. We can find out where she went from the others. Besides, she is one woman alone. She can do nothing to harm us. And that was their greatest mistake. Though by morning I might have believed them. Help us, someone, my village, someone. You who seek help, enter. But know you this, if you enter the walls of Castle Grayskull, you may never again be the same as you are now. Ungle, the sorceress, keeper of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. 
and I have been watching you for some time. Now, what has brought you here at last? My village is under attack by invaders. If they are not stopped, all of Eternia may fall to them. I offer you a bargain. I will give you all the power you need to help yourself and your people. I accept. Wait, not so fast. You have not yet heard the rest of the bargain. I have been keeper of Castle Grayskull for a long time. My time here is nearly through. But I cannot leave without first finding someone to take my place. I offer that position to you. It will not be an easy task, Tilana. You will fight many battles, see great sadness and great joy. As keeper of Castle Grayskull, you must fight a constant war against evil and comfort those in need. And you will never be mortal again. Finally, you must preserve and protect the swords of power until the day comes when they may be claimed. Tirana, I know your heart. I know that you are worthy, but the decision is yours. I accept. Then, by the power of Grayskull, let it be done. Enter the pool of power. Only the purest and the gentlest may have the power of Castle Grayskull. If the castle accepts you, you will emerge changed. Enter. <laughs> A falcon. Excellent. I can fly. But how do I turn back? What do I do? Concentrate. Think. Change. That's it! I'm... I'm different. As I told you, from this day on, you shall ever be the sorceress. For the last time, old man, where is the girl? We know you helped her escape. Now tell us, where is she? No, you... You vultures, do what you want to me, but I will not lift a finger to help you. Very well, then. Perhaps you need some encouragement. Let's give the old fool an example of what we have in mind. That falcon, a good place to start. Show him what we can do. Yes, Captain. Hey, that's not supposed to happen. Invaders, I am ordering you off the free planet Eternia. You have no place here. We'll see how bravely you talk when our troops arrive in force. This is Scout 7. <laughs> the communicator has been destroyed. Then we'll make our report in person. You've got to stop them. Hurry. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. At least not where they think they're going. What? Turn around! Too late! Where... where did they go? Far away. By the time they find their way home and report, we'll be ready for them. But are you ready for me? You are no match for my magic. Perhaps not. But you have to be here to use it. No, no time to think. Back, Morva. Back to your prison zone. Back. No. Oh, you, you did it. Thank you. No, we did it. Thanks to you 
and your stories. Now I must go. Goodbye and good luck. When I returned to the castle, Kodak Ungol was gone. And that is how I came to be the sorceress of Castle Grayskull. And it was a lucky day for us all, sorceress. We've needed you more than I can ever tell you. And I think we're about to need you again. The symbol of Morgoth. It is time. Ah, Eternia at last. Now to take up where I left off and conquer. No, Morgoth. Not now or ever. The gem is Morgoth's link to this world. Destroy it, and he cannot come through. Then let's do it. Not this time, sorceress. How about a little lightning to keep you busy? Here, let me. No, He-Man. I'll be all right. The gem. Destroy the gem. Force field. <clears throat> I can't get... Through. Fools! Did you really think you could stop Morgoth? No living creature can pass the barrier I have put around the gem. No one! <laughs> hey man, keep on trying! We've got to stop him! Got to get through! <laughs> What? What, what? what are you doing? Impossible. No living thing can penetrate that barrier. But Stridor is not alive. He's a robot. Mm. No. Stridor? You will stop. A little further, Stridor. Come on, you can do it. No! No! That's it, Morgoth. Everything has its fracture point, and I've just reached mine. And you just reached yours. No, you can't. I was so close. And don't come back! Hey, man, are you all right? I'm a little weak, but I'm all right. What about Stridor? We have to get him back to the laboratory. Man at Arms can fix him up if we get there in time. But how? I can fly back myself, but. Stridor carried me here. It's only fair that I return the favor. Can you manage him all the way back to the palace? Shouldn't you rest first? No time. And after what Strider just did, I'd carry him to the other side of the planet if I had to. Well, Duncan, will Strider be all right? I think he'll be just fine now. Am I glad to hear that? We've been through quite a lot, the two of us. I wonder what he thinks of it all. One way to find out. This new electro thought monitor I've developed should show us exactly what's on Stridor's mind. Hmm. <laughs> Open fields, streams, forests, hills. What does it mean? Free! 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 What does a machine know about freedom? I believe he is more than a machine now, Man-at-Arms. <laughs> he may have been a robot when he went against Morgoth, but he is a living creature now. Well, then he must be set free. It's wrong to keep anything that longs to walk free. Besides, I have a hunch that if we ever need him again, he'll be there. <laughs> Be going, He-Man. 
The crystal that allows me to maintain my form outside Castle Grayskull is wearing off. Before you go, Sorceress, I want to thank you for all that you've done. Not just today, but for all of those years you've patiently waited, protecting Castle Grayskull. It has been the highest honor, He-Man. And it has been, and always will be, a joy for me to call you my friend. She's a very special person, He-Man. Yes, Duncan, she is. She's very special indeed. Today, we learned about the importance of taking the responsibility to care about our fellow man. If you have a friend who needs help, who's having a difficult time, do whatever you can to help them out. Because as you saw in today's episode, no matter how big the problem, one person or one living creature can make a big difference. See you next time.